My name is Baron Bell, and I am a comic book artist. And I teach college level graphic design and animation. God to me is like a superhero and uh, I think God is my biggest inspiration for making comic books because the creative aspect of just comic books in general it's it almost uh, it makes me feel like God has given me this all this ability to be like him a creator so I'm able to basically take something and uh, take nothing and make something out of it. I grew up in Syracuse, New York, um, in a pretty large family, um, three brothers, four sisters. We never really had much, although we had a, more than a lot of people. But I, I think one of my earliest memories is, you know, mom opening the oven to heat the, the apartment, you know. Things that, that, you know, you have to do when you're uh, struggling. Uh, and you don't have a lot of money and things of that nature. So I mean, we 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 that was us. We were in that type of neighborhood. My mom, she was the rock of Gibraltar for the family uh, ever since I was a little kid. My mother was my hope, okay, because my father wasn't around a lot, and her dedication to Christ is what got me curious about Christ, and the fact that overnight. It was literally like overnight she changed from this cussing like a sailor mom to, you know, like Mother Teresa <laughs> or something. I'm like, who is this woman? And so that made me really question my whole life. It's like, okay, who am I? You know, where am I going? You know, um, uh, w what is it about her that's different? Uh, I was at a party with some friends and all we were doing was just standing up against a wall holding beer cans and you know and i never drank i would always pretend like i was drinking and i would pour it out because that's how my mom raised me but still though i was thinking is this it and so of course seeing you know my mom conversion around that same time i was uh, deeply introspective about my direction in life i do remember crying about it and and, and she just told me just pray for, for the Lord to give you understanding and wisdom and you know pray for Jesus coming to your heart and you know I didn't do it immediately you know but it did happen uh, gradually where I just started to grow a love and a curiosity for Jesus and eventually it, it, it really manifested itself in, in this deep desire to know him better I always knew I had a love for art but I did not necessarily know how it was going to manifest. I had no one to teach me. Um, I just kind of had just a, a passion and a desire. And it was funny because I was at my house one day with my mom, we were watching 700 Club and we saw the ad for Regent University. And I said, film school? <laughs> and I said, okay, I could do film school. And so um, that's, that was my path, you know. I, well, Regent was a very good experience for me. It taught me a lot about the industry and it taught a lot, me a lot about myself as a writer uh, and a director. If, if we Christian creatives don't impact the culture, then the culture is lost. We have to engage the culture. And so, if anything, I feel it's my duty to give back as much of myself as I can to Christ and my talents and gifts.